Hello, hello, and welcome. This is Lexi over at the Podunk Paper File. Um, today, I wanted to make some danglies for our journals. Um, I made this one the other day. It's super simple. I mean, I just put two things on this Tim Holtz thing, um, and then I put it into the binder with some wire, or into the book with some wire, and added some frills. But I thought that, like, I mean, this isn't the greatest thing in the world, but I think it's super cute. And I wanted to just make some with you guys and show you how, what my process is. Like, I am not a jeweler. I am not good. I just throw stuff together and thought you guys might want to hang out with me while I do it. So I have this box of charms and I also have broken jewelry in here. Um, like, my mom gave me this earring. There's not another one this earring, she gave me some cool, oh, can you see? Some really cool crystals. Um, this is one of those things where you put your uh, essential oil like inside of it somehow. I don't know, I don't know how it works. Please don't ask me, but you can tell me if you know. <laughs> anyway, I just got some stuff. I have this cute thing that I got from Joann's one day when it was all on sale and I have, um, I have even more in this bag right here, but we're gonna just put this off to the side for now and just pretend like it's not here, okay? Does that sound like a plan to you too? Okay, great. So let's uh, jump in, I guess. So I'm gonna start with one of these. I get, you can get a pack of these um, Tim Holtz things. I found this one at Hobby Lobby. They sell them on Amazon. I don't know if I've ever seen them at Joann's, but each Joann stocks things a little bit differently, and so it could have been there and I just missed it. So let's, oh, look at how pretty, because that would match the metals match. So I think I'll put that on there. And let's see. I have these all these random keys. I think this one's an actual key. Maybe not, I don't remember. Um, Those two are really cute together. And then we could put some tassels. Let me see. Let me think. Let's just get these on here first and then go from there. I have these, these are also Tim Holtz things. Um, Okay, so for now, let's just start with those two. Put that over here. I got that little container at Walmart. Um, this is a drawer for my little art bin over here and I'm just gonna put these back. Okay, I also have these keys. Look at, I think these ones are Tim Holtz too or they were um, the paper craft, paper studio from Hobby Lobby. All right, so I'm gonna start doing some surgery. These are my rounded, needle nose tip pliers, so they're round. Um, you can get flat ones. I just got these ones because they're the most versatile to me. I can like wrap wires if I want. Okay, so let's get this off. Now I've got some hoop-de-loops. Here they are. Oh, here's some of them, and then I've got some more. Now I only have um, silver ones and uh, you know what, <laughs> I don't care. So, all right, so I'm gonna take this and I'm going to bend it apart, put you on there. Okay, let's see. Bend it further apart, I think. Okie dokie, put it back together. Okay, there we go. Squash it. There. Pretty, okay. Now, I think that that's gonna not fit on there very well, unless I put another one on there. And before I close that one, I should have just put one on there, but I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking with my dipstick, Jimmy. 
Do you guys even remember that commercial? I reference it a lot. I think it is so funny. It was like a castrol oil commercial and this Irish guy, the Scottish guy that's like, are you thinking with your dipstick, Jimmy? And he like smacks people with a dipstick. It's just the funniest thing ever to me. Okay, so that's gonna hang a little bit better. Um, now this is super cute too, but do I want them like right next to each other? I don't think I do. How can I, how can I do this? Hmm, maybe we'll make a little chain. Sure, why not? Okay, so I'm actually going to put two rings on here. One, two, and then I'm gonna close it because that way we already have three put together. Like that, see, mm -hmm. yep. Okay, and so then we'll get the next one, put another one on there. Oh, I don't know what I'm thinking using my fingers. Woohoo! So there's little dangles. Now, do I want to connect these two together or just have them both be? I don't think I'll connect them. I think I'll just have them both be on that thing. I'm going to put some more of these bad boys on there. Okay. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do this. I'll go like this and put them on there. Neat. Neat. And then... We'll connect this to that. Mm hmm That's thinking. That is thinking. I know. I'm genius. <laughs> so anyways, um, so I found a really good nursing home that I like a lot for my grandpa. I know that he's going to be safe there and well cared for. And I talked to some of the residents and there are single ladies there. And so I'm really excited for him to have some friends and some people around him again. He has been very lonely and um, since he can't really leave the house or do any of his favorite things like golf or um, you know just stuff like that he doesn't have like anyway so I found him a really good place I'm really excited I know that it's gonna be really fun for him and you know he may not want to date and he might like I don't know you never know Maybe it would be fun for him to have a cute little girlfriend. There was this one girl named Linda in there. This little old lady. Well, she wasn't old. I wouldn't say she was old. She was. She just looked so beautiful. She had her hair done all cute. And she had this really cute hat on matching her little outfit. And um, she was so nice. She walked. We were walking down the hall and she walked out of room. She's like, hi, I'm Linda. <laughs> and I'm like, hi, Miss Linda. And she was like are you so-and-so's daughters? The room she walked out of. And we're like, oh no, we're I'm doing a tour. And she's like, oh, Sarah, that's you. Cause that's the girl that does the tours. And she's like, oh, and I was like, Miss Linda, how do you like it? She's like, oh, I love it here. They're so nice to me here. They treat me so good and blah. And then, um, so that, you know, boosted my confidence level through the roof. But then, um, you know, after Linda went into her room, Sarah was like, I just want to mention there are single people here. I don't know if your grandpa's even interested because you've never said anything. And I'm like, I don't know if my grandpa's interested. He's never said anything, but let's do this. Like, I'm sure he would enjoy that, you know? Why not? Dating seems fun. Um, he hasn't done it in a long time. His last girlfriend, uh, Miss Carol, she, she, uh, she got Alzheimer's. She was putting hammers in the fridge, freezer and stuff like that. And so her kids took away her driver's license and then she had to go into a nursing home and it wasn't very long after that that she passed away and um, my grandpa seemed pretty lonely after that but he never really like dated very much um, he used to date this one lady named Martha and oh my gosh I wish he would have stayed with her forever because I loved her so much she was a um, latina and she would make the most amazing homemade tortillas that i have ever had in my life i have never had anything that comes close to those and um she 
just loved me. And I just remember getting a Tickle Me Elmo from her one year for Christmas. Um, they separated. I was pretty young when they broke up, but I used to stop by where she used to work. And she worked at like a Lowe's that was near us. And I would stop by and see her and she'd say, hi, Miha. And I'm like, oh, I miss you so much. But, um, you know. Okay, so that looks pretty cute. And it kind of just offset it a little bit with the length. <sighs> so anyway, I really miss her. I don't know whatever happened to her, but my grandpa just hasn't really dated a whole lot. Um, my grandma divorced him in like 95 or 96. She was horrible about it too, you guys. The story is so sad. I'm like, I don't ever want to think any bad things about my grandma, but it was a really sad story. Um, my grandpa didn't actually tell me the story. It was his sister that told me the story and my great aunt. And so I was like, I don't know. Anyway, so I guess what happened is my grandma they had Valentine's Day dinner, they had a really great night, you know, they came home and they went to bed together and then in the morning he woke up, they woke up together and she served him divorce papers. <laughs> and I was like, Grandma, you savage! Holy smokes! Um, rude, <laughs> you know? I was like, you did that to my sweet grandpa. So I don't know how true that was, but... I believe my aunt grandma, she, sorry, I had to listen because my dog's been trying to sneak upstairs lately. I, I had a bed in here for her and she started to abuse her privileges by crying at the bottom of the stairs in the middle of the night thinking she can come up here and that's just not how that worked. So, because if she's up here, she'll burrow into all of our clean clothes and just whatever is like, she'll go into my daughter's room and like write, you know, get through, go through everything trying to find food because my daughter does leave food everywhere, but it's just like, oh, so anyway, um, so if my grandpa can date there, that would be fun. Or if he was even interested, I don't know if he's interested. I think he should be like, why not? You know, but he has a hard time too, because he, uh, he had his, um, prostate removed. So that makes things a little difficult for him, but I don't know. I don't know. I can't ever know what's going on inside someone else's head. I just got to give him the options and let him decide what he wants and what he would like because he's my number one guy. You know, when I was little, like super little, I'm talking like like toddler, three or four, like two or three probably actually, there was this like pumpkin decoration. It was like this weird pumpkin thing. And when I was really little, I was like, oh my gosh, that looks like you, grandpa. And he's like, yeah, that's an ugly guy, huh? And I'm like, yeah, you're my ugly guy. <laughs> And it stuck to this day. I call him my ugly guy. And a lot of people are like, ah, I can't believe you'd say that to your grandpa. And I'm like, but it's not an insult, <laughs> you know, like he's my ugly guy. That's just the way it is. Okay. So, so far, this is what I've come up with. I don't know. Do you like it with the little thr frills? I like it. Okay. So next I want to, maybe I want to jazz this chain up a little bit, like put some stuff on there. Um, and so these will come in handy here again. So let's see what we've got. What options do we have? Look at this thing. That would look good on there, right? Too bad we don't have copper color um, rings, but guess what? <laughs> it's not supposed to be perfect. Remember, we're making junk journals. We use the junk we got. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh um, okay. What am I thinking? What am I... I don't even know. <laughs> you know, I could take this part and get some of these rings off there. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Okay, we'll put you on this chain somewhere where you're gonna hang real nice. Uh -huh. uh. I hate doing paperwork. I hate filling out like, ugh, I hate it, you guys. Like I loathe paperwork. I like physical paperwork. I do not like digital paperwork and I freaking hate it. I hate faxing. I hate emailing. I hate everything about it. I want it to be in person 
and just on a piece of paper where I can read everything and sign it and just hold it in my hand. Like I'm so sick of this digital crap all everywhere. Like I can't get my daughter's report card just sent to me anymore. I gotta freaking log into the to the app for the school and I can't just like, I don't know. It's just really frustrating. It's just really frustrating. And like, like the rules are so strict. So my daughter is my stepdaughter. I don't, if you're new here, then now you know. So she's my stepdaughter, but I do, like so much for her you know her mom's still in her life and she's she's awesome I love her we get along really well but um you know I have to go to like parent teacher conferences and all the fun you know sucky things that um people have to do well um I can't sign anything I'm not the legal guardian so I can't like sign things to say like hey yeah that's fine or no that's not okay like I just have to like wait for her parents and then it's just like this long process and I'm like this is so stupid like you would think that like being the parent that's always with her I would have more rights than I do but I don't and it's just so so infuriating like it just drives me nuts like my husband works so much he can't always be there like the whole reason that my husband and I are e together is so that we are a team and we can raise our kids together you know like that's the biggest part of our relationship I would say and oh geez I just it's just the politics of it all and then so it's a charter school so you have to apply to get into the charter school well my daughter is in there already but my son like if you're siblings you're more likely like you just automatically can get into the school and my my kids live together full-time okay they only go with their other parents um on weekends and so um anyway since he wasn't a blood relation and Mark had no legal guardianship over him and I have no legal guardianship over Kennedy, they're not technically siblings. So he didn't just automatically get into the school. And I was like, you have got to be kidding me. Like this new age BS, everybody's like freaking gets their panties in a twist over the stupidest stuff that, to the point where it makes it hard for those of us who are just normal and don't get offended by everything. I'm sorry. I just am so sick of everything in the world right now. I can't even lie and say that I'm happy about it because I hate it. All right. So this would look really cute on there somehow. Um, hmm, what can I do here? Because if I pull it through, it's really hard because it's like, hmm. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where's my... So that's going on and then we're building a house we had to drop a check I had to drop a check off this morning um, the what's the check called the uh, I can't think can't even think right now of what it's called it's a check escrow no not escrow it's um uh, it's just basically saying like you know it's like a deposit kind of a thing like yes we're for sure doing this like you know I don't know what it's called you guys I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about because I, <laughs> uh, I am not good at contracts I'm not good at unless it's physical but then again the DocuSign DocuSign isn't so bad DocuSign is actually okay because it's pretty simple I just click on a link but it's when I have to find the things that I struggle I'm like oh I don't know I don't know where any of this stuff is it's driving me nuts and then like the other day we were trying to like find um, the lot the property for where our house was gonna be like just where the lots were before we decided which one we were gonna pick and um, I was getting so mad because like the GPS wasn't cooperating with me and my husband was like where do I need to go and he's like talking to me and I'm thinking about other things and I was just like finally I was just like I just I don't know <laughs> like you're you're my best guess is that it's somewhere and that 
will find it. <laughs> Finally, he had to stop the truck and look because I was just like so overwhelmed by the stupidest thing, you know? Like, I just couldn't make the GPS go. <sighs> Stuff like that just gets on my last nerve. Now, okay, hang on, what happened here? I don't think that this went through these the way that it was supposed to. But I think that that, okay, something is going on here. This is why I don't like doing it with these leafy ones because they're so hard, but once they're on there, they're so cute. What's happening? I'm over it, okay. So this dangle will be cute and then maybe I can add th things to it later on to put some color in there, I guess. Um, here we go, this might be cute. It's like a rainbow yellowy pinky thing. Put this through here. <laughs> oh geez okay like I can craft things I am super creative I can like paint I play the guitar I can play the piano sort of um like I you know used to instruct like painting classes I'm pretty good you know at a, at a lot of things but when it comes to like computers and technology it just frustrates me I get so frustrated because I feel so overwhelmed by like just all of the things it's just Ugh, I hate it. Okay, so I'm going to glue, put just a little glue daub in here so that it doesn't come loose. I'm using Fabrifix here for my glue and just gluing all this right here together so it'll stay put. And then it'll end up hanging and we'll chop it, you know, randomly. So far, so good. That's looking good. Might actually add a little bit more of this because it's so stinking cute. Um, let's see, what else do I have? You know what? I'm gonna call it on this one. I, I love this the way it is. I'm happy with it. Turned out really good. Um, and we made one dangle and I can always add to it later on, you know, depending on what the journal that I'm making needs. So let's do, I've seen people like put a lot of ribbons together. So instead of doing this, we could do some ribbons and I'm going to, so I'm going to put this off to the side and see what I can come up with that way. Um, if I do, then I might miss you, babe. You, babe, I love game. I love Lady Gaga, you guys. I just gotta admit that she's so like she has got a voice on her. Sorry, there's my arm. Take a look at that. How about just take a look at it? So I have this beautiful thing I got from Michaels, and I thought maybe, just maybe, we could use some of the ones that I've already used and make a cute pretty dangle with some of this stuff. I'm just taking ones that I've recently used that's over here and putting them together. I think maybe I'll put, would this look cute in it? Maybe? Eh, no, I don't like that. Ooh, let's use some Rick Rack. Maybe I'll do some bigger rick rack though, like this rick rack right here. Oh, this stuff too. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we can use you. Okay, so I think I'm going to try and just make it where on one end they are all the same. And 
trim the other ones off on the opposite side like these ones just oh I need to add the rickrack first am I too close do I need to back out a little bit okay there is that better okay all right so this is super eastery and cute springy so I need to cut these all right so I've got all this now I, this is the first time I've ever made one like this so um, <laughs> sorry now what can I So this is just a binder ring and put it through like that and then take the bottoms and pull them back up through themselves and then you pull it tight, all of them tight so that Oh yeah, see that turned out really cute. Now, oh my gosh, you guys, that is so cute. Maybe now I can make a chain or something that can go in there to make it look really pretty. So let me think, where's my, hmm. Hang on, I've got some other things over here. I might want to use, so I'm just going to grab them because I don't know what they are. Oh, those are really pretty. That would look really good in there, wouldn't it? Let's see. These are letters. These are like wooden, really lightweight letters. I really like that. Oh, but I also like that too. Um, these are too bold and they're pretty, but they're just kind of bold. Yeah, I, those, those look really pretty in there. I don't know if I necessarily need all of them, but they're so pretty. I just want to keep it like together like that. Why not? It's already built. Like why even fuss, you know? So let's get this on here, man. Watch me when I'm doing stuff. <laughs> like struggling. <laughs> All right, so let's see. So that's the bottom, you can tell because the way that it is. This is the top here. Now, since this is just a binder ring, we could totally just like open it. How do you open binder rings? It's been so long. Do you just pull them apart? I'll just put that on there, huh? I'm gonna put it down here actually with on this side with these things. Now, is that like two on the side though? It's kind of like, oh, I just got a good idea. Let's do this. What I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to find that ring and in the middle of this knot that I tied, I'm going to hook it on with one of these. No, one of these. So that it'll be in the middle. Why don't you just meet me in the middle? Where'd that go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I dropped it, sorry. And if you drop it, what? Just pick it up. <laughs> There's a song. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. It's not, it's a rap song. <laughs> uh, listen, okay, I liked rap. Still do kinda a little bit, I guess. Depends, it depends. Cause if it's, the rap today's age rap is so disgusting. 
and nasty and vulgar. I don't like that, but Oh man, what am I doing? Okay, whoa, whoa. Hang on a second. When you guys were over there, I did not say I wanted any lip from you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome to the struggle train with Lexi over at the Podunk Paper File. Today's struggle is ribbon. And together we shall conquer this ribbon wad. <laughs> okay, let me think. So I gotta put it through here, like this, and then take these and put them through, right, right, back through here like that, and then, no, no, something's wrong. What did I do wrong? Okay, hang on. These. <sighs> I promise it'll make sense. Okay, there we go. Now it is in the middle. See? Those two are intersecting. Oh, yes, that's pretty. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. Do you guys remember the movie Anger Management with Jack Nicholson and um, Adam Sandler? I saw that in theater so many times when I was like younger because it was so funny to me. Like I thought that was just the funniest movie ever. And I don't think I'm wrong here. I think that that is such a funny movie. <laughs> oh, it had me like gut, like my guts were hurting laughing so hard. I need to watch that movie again because I haven't seen it in so long. I barely remember it. I just remember like the I Am Pretty song that he sang. <laughs> In traffic, he like stops him in the middle of everything. He's like, sing this with me. I feel pretty and witty and gay. <laughs> oh. Like on that New York bridge, everybody's honking, freaking out on him. <laughs> That's funny stuff right there. Okay, so I'm just getting in these folds and squeezing some Fabri-Tac, Fabri-Fix, Fabri-Fix in there so that it can just stay put. We don't want any commentary from the peanut gallery here, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. You guys, I almost want to take... Shh, it's okay. Nothing. I almost want to take this one off of this book and put this one on here because it would match so perfectly. I'm going to do that. So I, oh no, I don't know if I'll be able to, because what I did is I used some wire right here and I like twisted it up and I put, I like glued it down and put Fabrifix over it in there. Maybe I could, um, would this binder ring fit? Because maybe I'll just leave it there and keep adding for giggles. Let's try this. Let's see. Me. I think this is it might work because but I glued something over that, so I don't know if it will actually. Hang on. Yep, yeah. Oh man, that whole thing is just another thing that's wrong with the world these days. It's gonna happen, I promise. I will make it. Okay, let's see here. So I put, oh. Okay, you, mister. This binder ring's really been giving me some tood, you guys. Might have to beat it like a red-headed stepchild, yep. Oh. There we go. Okay, there we go. Does that look stupid, though? Kinda? <laughs> yeah, I agree. That does look pretty dumb. So. What are we gonna do? 
Hmm. Oh, geez. Okay. okay, I need to be careful here. All the stuff's falling over. I could spill like this. Oh, that would be a nightmare. Could you imagine? Oh. All right. So how am I going to top this, you ask? I don't know. I totally know, actually. I'm going to... I know everything. I know all things junk journal. Let me think. I really like it. Um... You know what? I might just have to take this off here. Well, I don't know if I could, though. Yeah, I can, I can, I can, I can. I can. I just have to figure out how. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe that one's just there and it's just the way it is and I'll just have to make another one. <coughs> okay. So if you find value here and you like listening to me ramble on and on about my life and whatever's going on, um, hit that subscribe button below. I love having new people. Um, I have a few things in my Etsy shop. Um, soon this, this um, journal right here, the secret journal and the nature journal or the journey journal, the secret and the journey journal are both going to be available in my shop soon. So keep an eye out for that. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope that life is going good for you. And even if you have hard things in your world, you're going to manage through them and turn out okay on the other side. I believe in you. I think that you will do great things. And um, yeah, so enjoy the rest of your Friday. Oh, I am going to Las Vegas next week. I will not be posting anything. I'm going to just enjoy a week of vacation um, with my husband for our anniversary. It's four years married, so that poor sucker. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.